Sorry for the wait. Preparations for the celebration are finally done. I'll call everyone over, and then we can start. Let us give you a hand. <laughs> Thank you. Maybe we really should have prepared a gift. Then we could also be a part of the exchange. As it is, all we can do is wait and watch. Um, maybe we shouldn't do this after all. I didn't do that great of a job, and who would even like it? Oh, don't think like that. Remember our promise? We're going to give everyone a pleasant surprise. And besides, you've never attended a celebration event before. So this will be a great opportunity. Everyone will love you. I'm still... not really sure about this. There's nothing to be worried about. Just take a step forward and give yourself a chance. There aren't any scary people here, right? Right. Huh. Alright. Maybe this will help. Everyone, over here! Inaya has something great to tell you all! Wait, wait! I've already said that I'm not ready yet! Ah, oh, what should I say? Take it easy and relax. Deep breath, in and out. Once you've taken a long exhale, calmly tell everyone what you want to say. If you don't say anything, then all the hard work we put into embroidery practice would have gone to waste. Using it as a gift, though? It really isn't that good. So when Inaya was talking about making a prop, she was actually preparing a present. Yeah, it feels like she still doesn't really see herself as part of this community. But it looks like Nilu's trying to ease her through. Actually, Inaya had prepared a special present for everyone before the celebration kicked off. Pipe down! The louder you all are, the more nervous she'll become! You've worked on it for so long, so have some confidence. Don't be afraid. You've got this! Uh... Is Mr. Zubair here? Sheikh Zubair, this is an urgent notice from the Academia. This celebration, or whatever it is, must stop at once! What a condescending guy. What's his deal? Since Zubair Theater has long violated the Academia's policies and orders, we have decided to demolish it. As its manager, you must halt all operations and dismiss all staff members within 30 days, after which you will report to the Academia for further punishment. Why? Why force us to do this all of a sudden? Little girl, this is not the first time you've been issued a warning. I didn't hear anything about demolition the last time I asked, and now I suddenly only have 30 days? We have more shows planned, but it's impossible to do anything in just 30 days. How am I supposed to explain this to my customers and staff? That issue is of no concern to me, Mr. Zubair. You seem to understand the situation quite clearly. Perhaps you can reflect on the reasons why you have failed to prepare for the scenario in advance. Demolition? Why do they want to demolish this place? The Academia has never liked us, and they've never respected our work. To them, what we do is all a waste of time. This isn't the first time they've come by. They had asked us several times in the past to improve the quality of our performances, by only putting on shows they consider to be sufficiently intellectual. But our audience isn't the Academia. It's the people of the Grand Bazaar. If our shows are too difficult to understand, or too removed from everyday life, nobody would watch them anymore. Changing our content would not only mean turning our backs on our vision, 
it would also directly lead to the loss of our livelihoods. Yeah, the theater is very important to each and every one of us. Hmm, the way they're doing things is so scummy. But I also don't know how we can stop them. I do not wish to explain everything again from the beginning. Time is of the essence, so you should act with haste instead of asking frivolous questions. But none of us plan to accept this. Such an abrupt notice is contrary to established policy. Ask whoever you will. The answer will remain the same. We have already given you sufficient notice. Enough! Does your audacity know no limits, Father? Huh? Father? Their family? What academia? This is all because you don't like Zubair Theater. You're just using the academia's name to threaten us. Let me tell you. Even if you manage to tear down this place, nothing is going to change. You've always been awful. But even I never thought my father would sink this low. This is strictly business. It has nothing to do with where you are, what you do, or what you think. I hope you all have not been irrevocably blinded by folly. I will not waste more time on pointless arguments. Wrap everything up, and make preparations to shut down at once. Ah. Why is he always like that? This is quite the misfortune, but there's nothing we can do. That's it for today, everyone. Let's clean up. I'll go talk to them again tomorrow. <sighs> the storms that come out of the blue are always the hardest to deal with. Is this place gonna get... torn down? No! I don't want that to happen! Oh, shh. Don't cry. That man was just trying to scare us. This just came out of nowhere. What'll happen next? Beats me. Everyone else must also be at a loss. <sighs> they get more and more unreasonable with each passing day. I have to think of something. Sorry. My father is always like that. <sighs> The carefree warmth of summer will always give away to the bleak futility of winter. Man is even more fickle than the seasons. Why couldn't he just have a good faith discussion with us? There's always room for compromise. Well, if there really was, then we wouldn't be in this predicament. Sorry. I invited you thinking this was going to be a happy occasion. I didn't know that things would turn out like this. There's no need to apologize, Nilu. No one could have seen this coming. Oh, Paimon just wishes she could have at least gotten to the food. Is what that guy said true? The Academia has already given you many warnings? Yeah, I guess you could say that. They've always seen us as being meaningless. Knowledge is king in Sumeru, and their pursuit of it leaves no room for the arts. But if that's all it is, there's also no reason to go so far as to demolish the theater. After Inaya ran away from home, I brought her here to Zubair Theater. She really talks about her family. All I know is that she didn't get along with them. 
I never expected it to blow up like this. If you did nothing wrong, then there's no reason to listen to the Academia, right? Who cares? Let's just take him in a fight! Ah, uh, that's true. I'll try to think of something. We can't just let everyone suffer in a perpetual state of fear and uncertainty. What to do? What to do? Can you pretend to shut down, but secretly continue to hold your shows somewhere else? Or we could go through a list of customers and try to see if anyone in there might be willing to help out. Uh, that also doesn't sound like it'll work. A debate? Huh. Well, scholars do love to use them to solve their problems, but... How would that work in this case? Oh! If we can prove to Inaya's father that the Academia's position doesn't hold water, then they won't have a reason to demolish the theater! I see... Defeating him in a debate... It's a good idea, but... Which one of us could hope to win against a researcher? Huh? Me? No, 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 no! I'm the literal worst at arguments! I can't debate! Nilu, you are only so stressed out right now because you care so much about protecting the theater! I... This theater holds a special meaning in all of our hearts. It's irreplaceable. But I just don't know. Can I really take on such a huge responsibility? Paimon will help too! You'll feel a lot more confident after doing some prep work. Believe in yourself! Thanks, you two. All right. I've decided. Even though I may fail, I'll do my very best for everyone's sake. That's our Nilu. We're rooting for you. Okay. Let's head back and tell everyone what we came up with. Trying to best the Academia in a debate is attempting the impossible. If you really want to try, I won't stop you. It's not like our situation can get any worse. I don't think it's entirely hopeless. To Sharif, Nilu's approach will come off as naive, but that kind of frankness is exactly what they lack the most. Things might turn out differently from what you expect. I am in favor of such a romantic feat. No playwright will turn down a compelling underdog story. Sure, in fiction, but I'm not sure how well that will translate to reality. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't support you, Nilu. If you need my help, just say the word. Anything is better than just standing aside and watching the theater get demolished. I'm also pitching in. Let's show the Academia that we have some fight in us! Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot less nervous with your support. Not to rain on your parade, but my father is a real hard guy to deal with. He's erudite, meticulous, demanding, and exceedingly familiar with rigorous logic. It'll be extremely difficult to beat him in a debate. You all already knew that. But you just didn't want to hurt Nilu's feelings. When all said and done, aren't you hurting her just the same? That's enough, Inaya! <laughs> <sighs> Sorry, I've ruined the mood. I just can't force myself to expect a positive outcome. Nilu shouldn't have to push herself for the sake of an impossible goal. Yeah! It's way too early to give up! 
You're right, Inaya. We're up against the Academia. Everyone knows that they're very powerful. Being skeptical might actually be the more normal response. But I still want to try. I'm reluctant to just let Zubair Theater go. And it's not just me. I think everyone else here feels the same way. If we're unhappy, we should speak up and let our voices be heard. Say what's on your mind, and do what you think should be done. If we fail after that, then at least we won't have any regrets. I mean, after all, the only thing we can control right now is our choice at this very moment. I understand what you're trying to say. I also have my own intense feelings of anger and regret. Then, could I trouble you to tell your father about our plan for a debate? You can still get in touch with your family, right? Yes, I can. Then, please help us pass on my request. I've never participated in a debate, and truth be told, I'm still not really confident in myself. But since we've decided on a debate, I'll do my best to prepare for it. I'll gather everyone's thoughts and let them be known to all during the debate. I, by myself, definitely don't have enough wisdom to beat your father, but what about the entire theater combined? Then we should have a chance, right? Right. That's right, Miss Nilu! Beat the bad guy! Justice will prevail! Make him eat dirt! <laughs> You too. We aren't getting into a fight. But thank you for your encouraging words. I'll do my best. Well said back there, Nilu. I felt that I might have said a bit too much. Anyway, we better start preparing now. First, let's see what everyone thinks about the situation. All right, time to pull everyone's thoughts. No one is allowed to bully Miss Nilu. Watch out, Mr. Bad Guy. Pow! Bam! Mr. Zubair, we're trying to put together a list of arguments that might be useful. Any ideas? It won't be difficult to explain our position. They're in the wrong, and they know it. I have meticulously managed this theater's affairs for years, and I have abided by every procedure and obtained every permit. I did all of that to protect ourselves if something like this were to occur. I didn't expect them to disregard the rules altogether. Yes, I know. But anyone who's staying at the theater is one of us. If I can't even protect the members of the theater from outside pressure, then I have failed in my duty as a manager. In summary, you need sufficient confidence and strict adherence to the rules. At least for now, they don't have the authority to demolish the theater. As long as you double down on that point and force them to concede it, you'll gain an advantage. All right, got it. <sighs> I've seen many situations like this before. The Academia sure likes to get its nose into everyone's business. While you prepare for the debate, I will also prepare the theater for the potential aftermath. It's best to prepare for the worst outcome. Once you're done chatting, do me a favor and tell our customers that we're canceling all of our shows. Do we really have to? Right now... No one's in the right frame of mind to perform. I have to consider both our staff and our customers. This is the only way. Nilu, you are incredible. With your talent and youth, you had the least to lose out of all of us. And yet you were still the first to take a stand. I've never thought about leaving your theater, Mr. Zubair. I truly love this place, and I want to keep dancing here. I also want to keep dancing with everyone else. You're becoming more and more like her. Do your best. We'll do all that we can, and leave the rest to fate. Her? My teacher. She was an excellent dancer. 
but she's retired now. If we have time later, I'd be happy to tell you more about her. <sighs> I've gained a whole new level of respect for you. Inaya was right. It's true that I couldn't bear to bring down Nilu. It wasn't out of pity or anything, though. I, I just felt like I didn't have the right to say anything. After all, Nilu was the one who bravely stepped up and proposed to fight back. I didn't have that kind of courage or initiative. I'd be a terrible person if I spoke badly of Nilu without doing anything to help. She knows better than any of us how difficult this path will be. Paimon doesn't really want to talk to him. So, you've already developed some prejudices against me. And to think, I was just about to put forward a suggestion. Oh, I never listened to that. Although, I know not if you have a new answer to my previous question. Now seems like an appropriate time to revisit it. What do you think is the meaning of art? Oh, uh, this again? We probably do need to tackle this question if we want to prove the value of the arts. I don't know how to explain it, but all I know is that when my performance makes the audience happy, I also become very happy. Does that count as a meaning? You answered him so seriously. Careful, Nilu, this guy's ramblings never make any sense. No, no. Nilu's answer far surpasses yours. And it is close to my own. The meaning of art comes not from its creators, but from its audience. In other words, only art that can be appreciated by others will impart its essence and value upon the minds of its audience. This is something that the Academia can never understand. I once pursued the mastery of art. Much like how a researcher would chase wisdom and knowledge. However, the more of a connoisseur I became, the less I felt I understood. I began to question what it truly meant for art to be understood at all. I found that I could comprehend even the most complex and sophisticated of works. And yet somehow, that provided me with little solace. I remained even perplexed about this conundrum until I visited this theater and watched one of Nilu's performances. It was that life-changing? Everyone here had a joyous part in the overall experience. The actors upon the stage basked in the love of their audience, while those in the house immersed themselves in the wondrous ambiance. In all honesty, from a purely critical point of view, the performances here are exceedingly average. Hey, don't say something like that. But what bewildered me was how despite the performance's middling quality, they captivated their whole audience. They captivated even me. I realized then that I had walked the wrong road. The mastery of art was never what I truly wanted. I left the so-called frontiers of artistic research and came to this theater. For this is where I can finally find what I seek. Art will no longer be a castle in the sky. Whether it be inspiring or entertaining, art must be appreciated by others to confer value. If art cannot accomplish that, then it is meaningless. When you put it that way... Mr. Zubair and I refused to follow the Academia's orders to change our shows for a similar reason. To put it simply, we were afraid that our shows would lose their meaning if people couldn't understand them. I once stood in the spotlight, but I relinquished fame and acclaim for the freedom I enjoy today. I care not for where my feet may take me next, but Nilu, you need to remember one thing. You already stand upon the finest stage there is, and that is a rare gift that should never be taken for granted. You cannot give it up, not even to the Academia. I understand. Thank you for your words of encouragement, Mr. Kasani. 
Dust the cobwebs away from the eyes of those scholars. He really seemed to care a lot about the theater. Once you get to know him, you'll realize that he's actually a big softie at heart. He'll even help out with furniture repair and painting the stage. Wow. Paimon didn't think he had that in him at all.